Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to greet you all a happy Valentine's Day and I hope you're all well, happy and healthy. And secondly, I want to apologize for not being able to post any contents for the past couple of months. It's been quite an interesting ride, um, quite eventful for me for the past three months. And I'm here today to share with you what's been happening with my life here in South Africa. Um, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'd consider subscribing to my channel because why not? Okay, so let's get down to the very last vlog that I posted and that was last November. Um, I posted about our second trip to Fish Eagle River Lodge and if you haven't seen that yet, you can click this link above here. And it was quite amazing. That was a great camping trip again. And that was it. That was the very last video that I posted on my channel. So that month, November, I believe about mid to towards the end of November, I got so overwhelmed with work. I was doing two jobs. Actually, I was doing a, a real estate um, virtual assistant job and a sales development representative for Gigster. And I just got so stressed working at least 10 hours a day, five days a week. So I quit my jobs altogether and just decided to focus on myself wellness and my well-being and not only that a new covid variant was discovered by south african uh, researchers or scientists and the whole world thought that it came from here so the stress level in terms of like the restrictions um, the protocols has been heightened again and i even got interviewed twice by um, local radio station back in the Philippines because they were all wondering what is actually happening here what's life here with this new variant that came out again and uh, they also interviewed me about what kind of Christmas preparations we are up to uh, house Christmas celebrations here in comparison to how we celebrate it back home in the Philippines and then comes December which was truly a heartbreaking month for me because that was the same month that the super typhoon Odette hit the Philippines and my city, Cebu City, was one of the most uh, badly affected a week before Christmas and it was quite difficult because um, the entire city didn't have data, no means of communication, uh, they didn't have access to clean water, uh, electricity, and yeah, it was just devastating. There's too much destruction and that what that happened a few days before Christmas. So I got busy like doing fundraising and trying to reach out to my family as much as I could and trying to control my anxiety levels because sometimes they only get to reply like a couple days later when there's some little bit of signal. So again, I just tried to keep my calm and try to pray that everything's gonna be all right. Uh, it's, it's hard um, being away from the family who's experiencing this kind of uh, devastation. And thankfully, uh, nobody got hurt, um, nobody got ill, and yeah, nobody's injured. So that is something that's still to, to be grateful for. And, and even if they celebrated the, their Christmas with a leaking roof, everybody's still like um, intact the family's still intact and then you know the spirit of um, this close Filipino family ties is still there and I'm so thankful to all my relatives especially my cousins who helped my family and my brothers you know um, during those difficult times thank you so much and Towards the end of December, my husband and I and a good friend of ours, Dale, went on an amazing week-long camping trip at Beaverlac. So it's one of the best camping trips I've ever been so far. Um, for the whole week, we didn't have access to electricity uh, and to data, so it was quite amazing. In Afrikaans, they call it lekker, so it was quite lekker to just immerse yourself fully in nature. and. I could not begin to tell you guys how amazing the sceneries were and the, the experience of the rock pools, the beautiful mountains. We did a couple of hikes. Um, we enjoyed ourselves in the, the pools and we saw some baboons. We enjoyed some amazing camping food and yeah, we celebrated our new year there actually. So it was a trip of a lifetime, I would say. 
and I'm actually going to make a vlog out of it. I'm still not done editing all the videos that I took from that trip. So please watch out. Please stay tuned for that as well. And then January came, I actually tried to find new jobs again but then I also decided to kind of extend my break a little bit more and we gained new friends, we met new friends, um, amazing Christian friends. Sometimes we have this uh, fellowship that we do here at home or sometimes we do online and it's just incredible to be able to share your passion for you know the love of God, love of Christ and celebrating all the gifts, all the graces that we receive from him on a daily basis. And lastly but not the least, I'm so excited to share with you guys that my husband and I are expecting our baby! So we're gonna have another member of the family coming July and we are just so blessed, we're thankful and I'm just like over the moon when we found out that we're pregnant. And I think that was one of the reasons why I got so stressed way back on November. I think it was just the changes of my hormones and you know, I got this extreme mood swings and that explained it. Um, and I am just so excited to share this great news to you guys. It is such a blessing, such a big miracle. And yeah, we are just overwhelmed and so happy uh, at this point. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, Next week, I'm going to do another video about the gender reveal. So what's your guess, guys? Is it going to be a baby girl or a baby boy? What's your guess? Please comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you next week for another vlog. Goodbye. Take care.